Hey folks, Rumblin' Man here, and today we are unboxing an SX Jazz Bass. Or at least that is what I believe is in this box. And it's going to be a blessing. The first thing to know about unboxing a bass is you have to have a strategy as to how you're going to get the box open. And I don't think that I have a box cutter. Or a pair of scissors. But I do have <clears throat> an ink pen. So I'm just going to kind of stab the taping. My first impression is, you know, this is a full length, full scale base. And I'm impressed by just how small the packaging is. I think it's supposed to have a gig bag and everything. No amp, just a bass and a bag and a DVD. Uh, this is the Ursa, uh, straight up SX Ursa Jazz bass. In it's supposed to be in Lake Placid Blue, I guess we're gonna find out. Maple fretboard. And our bassist here at the church is gonna be playing this. And uh, I may use it for a little recording and stuff as well. Sometimes if you're too rough with a pin, it'll break, and then you're left with your hands. You're left with what the Lord gave you, your hands. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, so I've kind of undone a flap here. Now I can pull it out sideways. Oh, cool. And um, looks like they included an Allen wrench, which is going to be very good in case I need to adjust the neck, which very often happens. Um, and then here we have the, uh, the case, the bag for it, the SX bag, which uh, I've had one of these before, and it's not a bad bag for a base. Um, if you're going to be touring, you might want to get something a little more safe, but if you're just going back and forth to your church gig or local gigs, it'll get the job done. Got the nice SX logo on it. Mm. Okay, now, as for our new friend, the bass. So, have our Allen wrench. Oh, cool. So, very cool to know they included two Allen wrenches. They included... Um, the bigger one for adjusting the neck and the smaller one for adjusting the saddles. That's great because there's been a, plenty of times that I've purchased um, sets of Allen wrenches, often from places like the dollar store, and just haven't had ones of the right size. So that's very cool of, uh, of Rondo and SX to include those. Nice little rubber band here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is cool. This is very, very cool, my friends. Wow. Looks even better than the picture. <clears throat> we'll take the cloth off, and here we have SX Versa Jazz Bays in beautiful Lake Placid. Blue. I mean, the, and the Lake Placid looks really good. It looks, I mean, it looks just like the the Lakeland Daryl Jones jazz bass minus the minus the um, neck inlays and matching headstock. Um, obviously, it needs to be tuned up and stuff, but. Um, it's nice and light in weight, which is one thing our bass player wanted. Uh, it's nine pounds, and um, knobs look nice. Um, looking at it right out of the box, um, it 
The next setup looks pretty nice. I may... It's a little buzz. Saddles are already pretty high up. I may raise the saddles a little bit to eliminate that string buzz. Uh, but right out of the box, man, this thing is cool. Um, also, this vintage tinted maple really feels nice. I mean, it, it, it feels like a more expensive instrument when in reality it's not much over $100. So, that is the, uh, the unboxing. And we will have a review coming soon.